it was so lovely to see so many people come here today because they care passionately about our foreshore and they've chosen to come here and unite because council's threatening or has decided to cut 400 square metres of these beautiful cotton trees from behind us, the cottonwoods. These trees were planted by a resident for a great purpose and that purpose was to preserve our foreshore so that our children's children will be able to come here and enjoy it. Yeah, there's not gonna, they're not going to create a view. So there's going to be a bit of trees in the front. Yeah. I don't know if there'll be enough to stop the wind or the sand. So there should be, there's 23 there. reason to remove these trees. Removal of half is not a win-win situation as the Mayor said to me on Monday. We don't appreciate that the Council votes that the community does not get to have a say. So what we're doing is re-educating the Council that we as ratepayers do have a say, we should be considered for community consultation and to stop removing and creating erosion when we can clearly see what has already happened. So this decision to us, there's, there's no valid reason to do it. How do seven men just say, chop all the trees and vote that the community is not to be consulted on this matter of importance? To me, this is rude, arrogant, unintelligent and disrespectful. Even further down where they've already removed vegetation and trees, there's a big problem there and people don't don't enjoy the facilities like they used to along the foreshore because they're dealing with the winds and the sand blasting all the time. Um, so welcome everyone. I really appreciate your effort to come out today and have your voices heard. Also want to acknowledge all the people that phoned me, messaged me, sent me emails. So their idea of increasing park space is actually ridiculous because it's actually creating a bigger beach and lessening the park because the sand's invading. So we're losing stuff that is unique to our culture, that makes places special, um, and putting on, on the shelf stuff. And that's what we're planning to do right here. Get rid of this, this, this part, which makes Ernie Oregon Park special, to just get a bit more grass. One of the reasons I'm against the, the removal of all this vegetation is it's what makes this park special. We should be looking at places and realizing what is it, what's the attributes that makes that place special. And here it is the cottonwood trees. They have recent heritage significance through Arnie Oregon, but also uh, the Butchla people use these type of trees for tens of thousands of years. You know, they're culturally significant vegetation for a number of purposes, such as uh, making spears and making rope. Um, there, it's also a highly used park because of its, um, because these trees break the wind. It, it's madness that I lost a motion for community consultation. That motion wasn't lost 7-4 to stop it. It was lost 7-4 just to have community consultation before it happened. Um, and so it's, and it's madness that we have to come out here today to fight for that. That people can't recognize what is special and that they want to take away what's special for something which is mundane, ordinary and routine. They have not consulted with the population. They have cleared beautiful native areas to make the view better. But what they've also done is ensured that we've got much more erosion and those beautiful views are being eroded away. We only need one cyclone and we're in uh, What does council think it is doing? Who gives it the right to take away any of these historic trees without any consultation with you or me or Keith and Graham? Um, so I don't see any reason why we should be removing these trees just to create more, more grassland. We need our views, but we need the vegetation. We can have it both ways if it's done properly. Sadly, this council hasn't done it properly. They've chopped and cut and dug and now we're going to end up with sand dunes with no vegetation. I hope they're proud of themselves. And we're going to 
fight it for as hard as we can and as long as we can. Make it half a dozen. Okay, again. again.